Ethan woke up feeling dizzy in his room. His head was empty, like a blank paper without words. Fear gripped him as he struggled to even remember his own name. He looked around, trying to find something familiar. On his nightstand, there was a picture. In it, he stood next to a friend named Adam, both smiling. Adam! I remember you! Ethan blurted out, a rush of memories like scattered puzzle pieces falling into place. He found his phone and called Adam, fingers trembling. It's been a while, Adam said, sounding casual. I've lost my memories! Ethan's voice trembled with desperation. That's why you're calling? Let her remind you how you abandoned everyone for her. Adam's voice turned cold, and the line went dead, leaving Ethan confused. Who's the her that I abandoned everyone for? Ethan mumbled to himself. Among his things, he found a paper with a ring on it. The words on it pierced his heart. I can't accept that I can't be a mother with you. I hope you understand. Ethan's grief exploded like a storm. He smashed everything around him in his room, surrounded by faded memories of himself with her. Yes, he forgot a lot, but he remembered how deeply he loved her. After days of staying alone in his apartment, Ethan gathered courage to step outside. He ended up in a street cafe, where he met a kindly old man who everyone calls Uncle. Uncle's eyes saw beyond Ethan's facade. Child, why do you look like you carried the world's weight on your shoulders? Uncle asked gently. Ethan's bitterness showed. I've forgotten everyone, and everyone has forgotten me. Uncle chuckled, his eyes holding a story of their own. My own son abandoned me, leaving me to the streets. Give me your sickness for a ride. He confided, making Ethan's problems seem smaller. Uncle took him to a doctor, offering a glimmer of hope. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Uncle said calmly. The doctor's words resonated within Ethan. With time and treatment you'll remember, the doctor assured. Ethan locked himself in his apartment for weeks, fighting to piece his memories back together. He did memory exercises and took medicine daily, but fragments slipped through his grasp like sand, hardly remembering a thing. Before he breaks down from frustration, he returned to the cafe and sat waiting for Uncle and his kind words to show up. He got bored after the third cup of coffee, so he asked the waiter, Where is Uncle? The waiter looked at Ethan with a disgusted look of hate and said, God took him away, and I don't even know why God is keeping you, and left like he loathed looking at Ethan's face. Confused and hurt, Ethan reaches his wallet which accidentally dropped a picture. He went down to pick it up when he looked into it. Shocking sadness appeared on his face as he realized the man in the picture was Uncle. In other words, his father.